Hello, I'm Brian Lau, faculty member with AccuSport Education. Matt Callison and I, along with 22 other acupuncturists, just finished a four-day cadaver lab hosted at the Laboratories of Anatomical Enlightenment. We explored the channel system in the subcutaneous tissue, sinew channels, acupuncture and motor points, channel internal pathways, and some anatomy associated with the extraordinary vessels. This video is from a lecture I gave on the layered relationship of the urinary bladder and kidney channel sinews from the foot to the pelvis. For more information, check out the upcoming certification class starting this fall in Bloomfield, New Jersey, SMA foundational courses, and upcoming four-day cadaver labs. There is a layered relationship between the superficial portion of the urinary bladder sinew channel, the deep portion of the urinary bladder sinew channel, and the kidney sinew channel. The superficial portion of the urinary bladder sinew channel consists of the gluteus maximus, especially the deep fibers of the muscle which connect to the deep portion of the urinary bladder sinew channel. The superficial portion also consists of the thoracolumbar fascia and the latissimus dorsi, in addition to other structures which are not part of this discussion. The deeper part of the urinary bladder sinew channel is found directly deep to the superficial layer. This layer consists of the abductor digiti minimi, in the lateral band of the plantar fascia, the periosteum of the lateral calcaneus, the lateral portion of the Achilles tendon, which consists of the gastrocnemius fibers, the gastrocnemius itself, and the two superficial hamstring muscles. These are the biceps femoris longhead and the semitendinosus muscle. These superficial hamstrings share fascial attachments with the sacrotuberous ligament and the posterior fascia of the sacrum and the SI joint. The kidney sinew channel sits just deep to the urinary bladder sinew channel. It consists of the medial band of the plantar fascia and two muscles which attach to the plantar fascia, the flexor digitorum brevis and the abductor hallucis. These plantar and medial foot structures blend with the medial periosteum of the calcaneus and the medial attachment of the Achilles tendon, which consists of the soleus fibers. The soleus, popliteus, and plantaris are all part of this channel. In the thigh, the kidney sinew channel consists of the semimembranosus, the biceps femoris short head, and the adductor magnus. The biceps femoris short head creates a fascial continuity with the adductor magnus creating a fourth hamstring as discussed by Tom Myers in Anatomy Trains. Distally, the adductor magnus and the semimembranosus both have attachments into the medial collateral ligament. Proximally, these myofascial structures blend in with the pelvic floor and anterior sacral fascia. The relationship of the MCL, semimembranosus, and the medial collateral ligament are discussed in this month's blog post. Assessment and Treatment of the Channel Sinews for Posterior and Medial Knee Pain. Check this out for ways to use the anatomy of the channel sinews to help increase your success with patients.